Hello and welcome back to Will the Scry. It's been a little while since I last filmed some of the newer episodes, but I'm back and there's a reason I'm back. I've watched a few of these and I was staying strong. I was like, I'm just gonna enjoy this to, to the me time. But the further I got in, and as soon as it started oh, glazing over the homie white beard, oh my god, bless his soul, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, y'all. I had to return back. I had to share in all of this with all of y'all, because, man, oh man, do I love that man. And that clash between Odin and Whitebeard was so crazy. The humbling that he put on that man. Uh, I thought it was so interesting that Odin would only follow Whitebeard. He's never acted like that with anyone else. And one of the craziest kickers of this whole thing was the one crewmate on Whitebeard's ship in the Great War. One of them was literally one of Odin's constituents. That's crazy, like like such a small part in that war. And you're all just gonna find out how it all kind of stayed together, how he ended up being a lifelong follower of Whitebeard. I mean, I guess he didn't have a choice otherwise, but obviously he considered him pop. So I'm interested to see where some of the other crewmates, what happens with them, because we know that some of them, um, at least this is what I, from uh, what I remember, not all of them stay on Whitebeard's ship. The girl with the blue hair for sure was a different captain that, and, and this is another thing that was just kind of blowing my mind as I was thinking about it, was in the Great War, all those pirates that came to help Whitebeard potentially was on his ship before they left off and joined their own crew. Similar to what Shanks did with, with Roger, similar to what Whitebeard did with the Rocks Pirates, right? It's clear that there are apprentices on pirate ships and then they go off and and they start their own things. And the last thing that happened was Odin was holding on to that, that anchor thing um, for three days and within the last hour, of course, for dramatic effect, he, he lost grip and then um, fell ashore to presumably, and by presumably, I mean like 99.9% .9 his future wife, Momo's dad. Um, so we're gonna see where it develops from there, but Odin is one thing, I'm just trying to see me some more young Marco, some more young Whitebeard Pirates, you feel me? Let's not waste any more time. Man, Odin's seen better days. And so she's trying to get back to the land of Wano. He's trying to get out. Duty, love, and your own passions. The ultimate trifecta. He has passion to explore the world, his duty back home, and his love wants to go back. Beast of human, that's for sure. Yeah, he's so duty bound to help. Oh, that's one of the pirates. One of the white beard affiliates. That's crazy. So this is how he ends up joining the, the white beard fleet brigade. Oh, it's crazy. This is only like one component of that white beard ward. All the people who followed it. Ooh, he knows who he is. え、この男カルマモの地に白ひげ海賊団の参加に入り。オーデン。え、だが。ああ、そうイレッカ、俺の。オーデン様。オーデン様。え、ねえ。<laughs> 
See, a few of those guys that are sitting there laughing were affiliates of the Whitebeard Pirates in the war. They weren't part of the crew. Mm. <laughs> Wow, so you've on the Whitebeard ship for a long time. So that's probably how he joins, because Roger's on the way there. Whitebeard since so departed. No mm. <laughs> poisoned by that POS or <laughs> ちょっと作る。人数も増えた。どうだ。いつぐらいのタイミングを分けてみるのは。おでん。え。お前に2番隊を任せる。お願いします。名前は父。おお、マイガッド。<笑> Oh. I, don't, I don't know why that was such a surprise to me. Like, he's on the crew. Yeah. <laughs> Back when he was a rookie, yeah? <laughs> the great pirate. Yo, they have no idea. Let's go. All right, we jumping right in the next one. And this will catch me up. Close the eyes. We're good. And we back. My man Orochi up to no good from day one. <laughs> That's the fakest slap I've ever heard. Orochi. <laughs> I don't care about this man's past. Alright, that is kinda of sad. Everything's a cycle, right? What on earth? Dang. He's scary. Mm. This is weird, man. マネマネの実という果実の能力さ。お前がわしの言うことを聞くならば。We don't like her. Stole the gold that was obvious from the first second. Koko de Hataraki. You poisoned Odin's father, obviously. Yes, yes, I'm off. Nani, Orochi, I'm not going to. Ha. Sorry, Tom. Got a good and cut all my musga. Kinko, Kanemo, Nakuna Teori. Nani, Kanemo, Nakuna. Everyone, you will go. 
大量に武器を作るには全然足りないねもっと金のあるところがあるだろう<笑>次の標的は皆オロチをよく見てやってくれ承知つかまつりました He she, she must have touched him at one point. I knew it was a fake cough. It's the grandma. Dude's definitely already dead. Yep. <laughs> ここちらに気づいたのよガープや戦国でも連れてこいこちらに気づいたのよクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロキスクロ
I have nothing to say, genuinely. So I'm I'm just gonna end it. I'm just gonna end it. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna just ponder and think about this all night. I'm just gonna end it here. Thank you for tuning in. I am Kirk D. Cam, and this is Will Descry.